saw the same skull in the Academy Library. The Biopsis race is incredibly powerful. We have no equal among our contemporaries. However, we strive to develop technologies to leave these lands. Our ambitions lie far beyond this world. However, not all of our kin share this view of the future. There have always been persons in every culture that yearns for world domination. Takawa was such a person. The founder of the Silver Moon Lodge, which members sought to gain as much power as possible and enslave every creature on every land. The Silver Moon grew threateningly under his guidance. Ignoring their power had become too dangerous. A real war with their representatives had to be unleashed. However, we underestimated the strength of our enemy. Takawa's network was flawless. He skillfully used magic and artifacts to manipulate the minds of important political figures. He seemed invincible. He almost won the war. But we played on his greed. We tricked Takawa into the tomb where all the possessions of the Silver Moon were stored, and imprisoned him there. All artifacts were cursed, so that his followers would never be able to carry out his legacy. Susan, what did you find out? And who is this young lady? This is my granddaughter, Kiana. She went through the portal that I left open at home. Kiana, this is my old friend, Marin. Nice to meet you. You look like a wizard. People often tell me this. I think it's all about my gray beard and robe. Susan, you understand what it means that she went through the portal, don't you? Yes, but we have no time now. We've discovered that the Cyclops race Myopsis Place this curse on the dangerous apostate and all of his possessions. The centaurs touched the artifacts and became cursed. Hmm. Big magic. Powerful. This race was strong, but such a curse requires a lot of strength. Someone helped them. Someone? Who? Magicians? A spirit. Judging by the effect of the curse, the spirit of the desert. Let's go to the library. We will find information on how to summon him. He must know everything we need. I need to follow this clue from the obelisk near the treasure cave.
of the service of the girl owns. If you are her friends, I will not touch you. If you are her enemies, I will destroy you. Friends, these are my friends. Don't touch them. What is the oath seal? On your neck. The amulet. Warn such my summoners have. Different they were. But your lives are only a moment for me. And the oath is eternal. Who did you swear to? What oath did you take, spirit? To the mighty race of the Cyclops. I swore an oath of service. In exchange for a great sacrifice, I imposed an imperishable curse on many places and objects. A lot of time has passed. The innocent now suffer from this curse. How can we take it off? The oath of service I shall not break. I know how to perform the ritual of release from this oath. There is a bearer of the Oath Seal among us. Will it help to remove the curse? Time is but sand in the desert for me. You know better if this story is over. The key to the tomb I shall give you. The heart of the curse is the tyrant. Remove his shackles as my shackles are contained within. The place the spirit spoke of must be in this cave, not far from the treasure. Find the tomb while I'm preparing the ritual hall. When you remove the shackles, bring them to me as soon as possible. I don't want to risk your life, Susan. I need to figure out how to remove this protection.
The next puzzle is opened. I have to solve it while the sand is pouring in the hourglass. looks like my amulet. Kiana, give it to me.
Now let's quickly get back to the ritual hall. Marin, we did it. We got the shackles. Great. Throw them in the well. Such a dream! There was a wizard and a sand cobra and a big flying turtle, and me and Grandma lowered the island floating in the air. Oh, someone heard enough of Grandma's stories for the night. <laughs> Guys, where is everyone? <laughs> 